Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello friends, how are you today? I hope you're doing good Today we are going to learn Smart Kids at Chapter 10 Please prepare your student book and also your workbook Then watch this video carefully Please open your student book, page 94 Then look at the vocabulary Please repeat after the audio Earthquake Earthquake Panic Panic Move away Move away Instructions Instructions Drop Drop Shake Shake Follow Follow Now go to Activity 1 Then listen and read Activity 1 Listen and answer What did the teacher tell the students? Then read Aisha wasn't at school today She was sick Maha is telling her what happened. What happened at school today? Well, we talked about earthquakes. Mrs. Al Malki told us what to do when we're at school and there's an earthquake. Then we had an earthquake drill. Really? What did you do? Well, first she told us not to panic. Then she told us to move away from all the windows and bookcases. She gave us a list of instructions. I have one for you. Drop, cover, hold. One, don't panic. Two, move away from all the windows and bookcases. Three, don't leave the classroom. Four, drop to your knees. Five, Get under your desk quickly. Six, hold onto the legs of your desk. Seven, don't shout. Eight, wait for your teacher's instructions. That sounds very interesting, Maha. I can't wait to read it too. Okay, get well soon, Aisha. Thank you. I think I'll be fine tomorrow. Today we are still learning about reported speech, but now we are going to learn it in a negative sentence. So, as you know that reported speech is used when you tell someone what another person said, but in this case you are going to say it what another person said in a negative sentence. For the example, someone said, don't panic, and you will say he told us not to panic here is the example of mrs almaki said to the student what they shouldn't do after an earthquake don't talk she told us not to talk so when you are telling negative reported speech you need to write not after the pronoun as and before to like the example here, she told us not to talk. Don't panic. She told us not to panic. Repeat after me. She told us not to panic. Don't shout. She told us not to shout. Repeat after me. She told us not to shout. The last example is... Don't run down the stairs. She told us not to run down the stairs. Repeat after me. She told us not to run down the stairs. And for your exercise today, please do student books, page 95, activity 1, 2, and 3. Then do workbook, page 85, activity 1, until 2. And this is... The listening for student book activity 3. Activity 3. Listen and write T for true 
or F for false. OK, class, let's start. Everyone sit down. And you, Peter, stop talking and go back to your seat, please. But I wasn't talking, Mr. Smith. OK, now, listen to me carefully. Don't take out your books. No, Mike, I said don't take out your books. Thank you. Now, take out a piece of paper and write your name on it. What's happening? A fire drill? There's a fire on the third floor. Don't panic and don't run down the stairs. Follow your teacher's instructions. OK, Mr. Brown. Boys, get in line and... OK, friends, that is for today's lesson. I hope you understand. And if you have any question, feel free to ask me. Don't forget to repeat the lesson again and again. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.